Welcome to Flash University. Today we're going to discuss the binding procedure for the Vanguard FTS 370 LED system. The binding process simplifies installations and board replacements by allowing the controller to find its external components on the tower. On this system, the binding process replaces the need for configuration jumpers and dip switches. LED system communication is a two-way path where the tower components and the system controller share information through the same cable that feeds DC voltage to the tower lights. This process must be completed after every new installation and every time the controller board is replaced. To begin, press the enter button one time. Scroll down to local tower config and press enter. Scroll down to bind tower and press enter. This process must be completed on each controller on site. Only turn on one unit at a time. If you do not have additional controllers, you do not need to worry about the power down procedure. To ensure the binding process is completed properly, you must isolate the other controllers from their communication link by powering them down to eliminate the potential for crosstalk between the tower components. By powering the other units off, you remove the chance of a controller binding to the wrong flash head or marker tier, which will affect system operation and diagnostic information. Use the internal breaker or fuse block to turn the system off. The blue power LED will be lit to indicate the controller is operating at full voltage output. The blue LED will turn off after incoming power has been removed. Before proceeding, ensure each additional controller's output voltage is below 5 volts DC. Once you initiate the process, wait until all components have been discovered. The controller is looking for a return and communication from the communication boards on the tower. This could take up to 30 seconds to complete. Press enter on accept to complete the process. This image shows a system that has been bound with a flash head and marker tier. Make sure you repeat this process on each controller one at a time. If the binding process does not complete properly, unbind the tower and run through this process again. For any issues, please contact technical support for additional testing.